You're in church. You're loving God. You love God, God, God. You're the best. You're the, you know, I love you. Every, you know, and your fellow man, how can, how can I hug this guy? Uh, you, you know, horizontal. Bring your arms down. Then put your arms. And then love can be possible. But this vertical perception keeps us from doing this. this I love you, bro. I know you I do, bro. You. Hey, Jose, why didn't Peter want Jesus to wash his feet? Why? Why? Because he didn't want to extend it to his fellow apostles. But why is Jesus considered to be God some days and some not? If Jesus is God, then when Jesus got down to wash the feet, that was not really Jesus, it was God. Because in the Old Testament, you have this unapproachable, distant God, impersonal, a narcissist type of God who wants to be number one. The only thing you have in church is a bunch of smelly armpits. You can't be horizontal with your fellow man. So you got this God, but my perception now has changed. Because man in his infancy needed that fatherly type of thing. My perception now, Jesus joined, or God joined the human race in Christ. So really it was God who gets down. He washes Peter's feet. You see, that's an insult. That's offensive because God uh, is a reflection of oneself. If your God is vertical, you'll be just as vertical to your fellow man. But if your God is literally down to earth and humble, you're going to be just like that to your fellow man. So then Jesus gives us and shows us a horizontal God. Not like these pastors in my community. I respect them. But you're not going to tell me about God. Jesus teaches us what God is. Jesus gives God a face. So there's a misunderstanding about, you know, Jesus or God being vertical. So this is what we have to change. This will make heaven on earth. Peter, they want God to be horizontal. He want him vertical so he can avoid his fellowship connection with his fellow man and then peter was thinking oh my god i gotta love andrew bartholomew john no jesus please stay vertical don't become horizontal then i have to love them too no uh why can't i be number one and please don't make it a stupid sacrament out of this this is not to repeat over and over it's the principle behind it horizontal relatedness and humanity you see the church you have this vertical perception that's you have the keys to heaven and hell you're giving the keys to hell. You see, if the status quo is inside the house of God, beginning with God and the angels and the, you know, the newcomers and all that and all the pastors and all that, then it's gonna to extend to the secular world. This is why we have the status quo and inequality in our world and the hatreds and the killings and murders. So you pastors, my beloved pastors, you're the problem. And this vertical God, the tyranny of the evil vertical God, that's what's bad. That's the evil, we need to change that and come to Jesus and have a horizontal God who resurrected as a truly human new God. Oh my God, and here's God in another, I'm gonna take God even lower. Here's God mopping the floor. Wow, isn't that offensive? The offensiveness of the gospel. Jesus came, it starts off with, Jesus came to lower the mountains and raise the valleys. People misunderstand that. God mopping the floor. Oh my God, that's, you know, I teach this at greatestonecommand.com. Please join my group, uh, look at the website and follow and uh, share, and we can change this vertical perception of God because it's all horizontal. If you feed somebody, you feed God. You love up to God through people, He loves us through people. You see, if you don't have love for your fellow man, you don't have love in you, period, so you can't love up to God. Okay, greatestonecommand.com.